God, that we can come into your presence because Jesus has opened the way through his death and resurrection. Thank you, Lord, that you're here by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, as we spend this time together tonight, we pray, Lord God, that, that everything that we've come into this room with tonight, all our hopes and fears, all the events of the past week, the things that we're anticipating coming forward, Lord, we pray that as we meet with you, as heaven meets with earth, that you will do what you want to do. A transaction will take place in the spiritual realm and we'll go out of this place changed. God, I pray that you'd meet with us as we meet with you here tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. You can be seated. Thank you very much. And we've got church news. If you look near you, you've got this little goodie bag. You see them every week, don't you? And inside this goodie bag, there's a number of items. First of all, there's a pen. There's also a little piece of paper that says connect. I'd like you to take that out right now and uh, write your name. If you've got some new details on there, phone number, email addresses and stuff, pop that in there. And then we've got all these little check boxes and things that we can do. As uh, we saw just on the church news, we've got Winterfest coming, beginning of beginning of August. Just checking. How long ago is how long is that to go? Four weeks, is it? Or five weeks? About a month. Beginning of first Saturday in August. It's a great thing, great opportunity to connect with our local community. If you want to volunteer for that, stick a little check mark on the connection card there. Also, if there's some other area you'd like to be involved with in Hope Church, you can put that down there. Particularly, if you notice at the bottom there, there's uh, some white blank space there for you to 
write down your answers to prayer. When God has done something in your life, it's good to share that so that we can rejoice with you. And also, if you have got particular needs, there's, there's always plenty of needs that we have. We need to see God work in our lives, in the lives of those that we love. Put that down there. And the team here at the church will pray for those during the week. So while you're doing that, I'll write my name as well. And also in your goodie bag, there's two other items. There's two envelopes, and that's for our giving. And we have three ways of giving here at Hope Church. You can give using putting cash money in these if you've still got cash money in your wallet. Otherwise, you can put your credit card details on that. Failing that, you can use the FPOS machine in the foyer, or you can also give online. And just as we give, I'd just like to share a scripture with you. This is in Luke chapter 16. A little story that Jesus tells his disciples. And at the end of the story, he says this. If you are faithful in little things, you'll be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. And if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? The way we use our finance has an impact on our spirituality. If we're faithful in managing our finance as well, then God will entrust us with things that are even more valuable. So often we think that money is one of the ultimate values. But money is many, many, merely an instrument of exchange. There are things that are far more valuable than money. But how you use your money can have an impact. The story about a man who, when he was putting his money in the offering at church, he said, I'll see you in heaven. Because that money went to support a range of different ministries and those ministries had an impact on people's lives and those lives that were impacted ended up being in heaven. Missions offering goes to missions. People get saved. They are in heaven. We have an impact in the life of our local community. People's lives get touched and transformed and that has an impact in heaven. How you use your worldly wealth as an impact for eternity. So as we give, let's just pray and then we'll stand and worship. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have provided for us a simple little thing like dollars and cents, which can have an impact for eternity. And Lord, we would be, want to be those who would use our finances wisely so that as we become trustworthy with those material things that you will trust us with eternal realities. God, we thank you and pray your blessing upon these gifts and by those of us who are giving in Jesus' name. Amen. So put your envelopes and your connection cards in the buckets as it goes from this side to that side and we'll continue to worship. Thank you for that.
tonight we just want to honor and worship you. And God, we pray that you would speak to us through your word. We pray that you would touch our hearts tonight and that we would be changed in a real way from you, God. Work your way in us, God. We want to be more like you, Jesus, each and every day. So Lord, I just pray.